Hey guys, I'm about to tell you everything you need to know about eyelash extensions. I'm gonna show you my first time getting them. I'm gonna tell you how to take care of them and I will try to throw in as many helpful tips as I can. So keep watching. This is fully my experience and what I have gone through firsthand. So hopefully this helps somebody out who's deciding whether to get some or not. Okay guys, so I'm on my way right now to get my eyelash extensions for the first time. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've been scared. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, but I did my research and I'm gonna go try it. I'm gonna be getting silk lashes, I think, or I don't know. I'll talk to the technician and see what the verdict is. But as you can see, I'm not wearing anything right now. So this is my before. My lashes are actually pretty long when I put mascara on they look fine but they're just very light and sometimes I just don't want to put on mascara so the reason I do want eyelash extensions is that so that is that so that <laughs> so that I can just run out of the house without anything or any makeup on and look done up and then I will show you guys after and hopefully everything turns out wonderfully and it looks great hopefully hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got done and <laughs> they look so good. It's dark right now, you know, daylight savings. It's already 5.30 and the sun has gone down, but I will shoot some more for you guys in the light, of course, but I just wanted to show you guys immediately after I got out. I don't have anything on my face or eyes, so there you go guys but i will shoot it in the light for you guys but i think it looks awesome it's very natural not too crazy and it's super light which is great for me okay so i just woke up and i'm showing you my lashes straight in the morning sorry i'm still a little sleepy but i wanted to show you guys because i realized i forgot to shoot a daylight version of them um in the daytime but um it's been a week so far and here are my lashes most of them are still intact and in place and so far so good so this is how they look with no makeup it just looks like i have amazing lashes but um i'm really loving it i feel like my face looks more awake i look more put together naturally i don't have to put a lot of effort into putting on makeup anymore which is great it is a little more high maintenance though so it takes a little more time um, to take care of but other than that I'm truly loving it and they're really soft and super light. I honestly don't even feel them like I don't even realize I have them on and sometimes I'll like shove my face into the pillow and just be like fuck I shouldn't be doing that. So what are you doing in the background? Jesus. I, I, I never get a moment alone. Look at him. What is he doing? Okay, don't mind that. <laughs> Since this is my first time, we will see how long they actually end up lasting, but they should last about three to four weeks, from what I've heard and from the technician that I went to. So we shall see. She did a great job, so you can see. Really get in there. Yeah, that's it, guys. It's been a week and they're still there, so nothing to complain about. So these are my lashes after three and a half weeks. This is what I have left. I'm about to go get a fill right now. But as you can see, a lot have fallen out, but it still looks presentable and fine and not like too crazy looking. So overall, I'm very pleased with my eyelash extensions and I think I will be continuing this journey for now. <laughs> Okay guys, so I want to talk about how I take care of my eyelashes. I've had them for a month now. This is my new set, my second set. I had a fill done um, maybe five days ago. And I'm just gonna walk you through what I do. Once I get out of the shower, they tend to clump up a little bit. So my technician told me that you can actually blow dry it a little bit on low but that to me sounds like a lot of work so i basically i just take it to my towel before i wipe my body and i just kind of dip my face into it and i just pat dry my eyes and i just hold it over my eyes and pat them for like a good five ten seconds and then that absorbs most of the moisture and then if i feel like they're still a little damp 
I'll do this, literally. <laughs> it's really funny. This is what I do. I just kind of blow at them upwards from my mouth. Like... I know. It looks ridiculous, but it's funny and it works. And it's quicker than getting the hair dryer out. Then you want to brush them out. And so you just take a spoolie and you can brush them like this. You want to get them from the inside. Like that, just in circular. Just spin the brush, be gentle. Don't pull. And this will just brush it out because they do get tangled sometimes. And this way, when they're fresh and clean, you can just put them, arrange them how you want them back in their place. So that, that's super simple. And then the products I have been using when I'm taking off all of my makeup, if I have a lot of makeup on, I will use a Neutrogena makeup remover wipe and I will just get all of the area around my face except for right at my eye. So I'll even get my eye, but I'll stop like right there. So I'll, get the, I'll use this to get the majority of the makeup off. And then I wash my face with this which is Garnier Skin Active, the gentle sulfate-free cleanser. You just wanna make sure that you wash your face with something oil-free. And this is very gentle, it's scent-free, and it's actually a really great cleanser for, even if you don't have eyelash extensions, but you have sensitive skin. So, I highly recommend this. When I am using the face wash, you do wanna make sure you wash your eyelashes because you want to get a little bit of a lather on there because you don't want any mites to get in there or like dust or bacteria or something that can irritate your eyes and cause further problems or you know you don't want any harsh irritants in your eyes and you don't want to get them sick so i do recommend when i put the the face wash i keep wanting to say body wash <laughs> when i put the face wash on i'll lather my whole face and then i will just take my fingers and just do this and if you're gentle you can rub them like this but just be gentle, I just use my finger. I don't use a brush like some people do. I feel like brushes collect a lot of bacteria as well. So I just use my finger when I'm in the shower or washing my face, and I will gently scrub it and then wipe it down like this. And then when I'm washing it off with water, I just splash, keep splashing, splashing, splashing until I feel that the soap is gone. And again, you can help get the soap off by using downward motions. Just don't go rubbing it hard or you will rip out your lashes but yeah that's a tip and then if i have really if i've used like eyeliner or like a waterproof liner that's troublesome to get off or i've done some extensive eye makeup then i'll use my garnier skin active micellar cleansing water or however you say it but yes i'll use this and i'll dip a q-tip in there and just you know draw along my eye line to get that off and it comes off really well and this also is oil free and it's for sensitive skin as well so it works really well i highly recommend those um i'm trying to see if there's anything else that i really use i don't think so that's simple everything else my skincare i keep the same the only thing is when i'm putting on my eye cream i used to you know really rub it in circular motions i can't do that anymore so I'll make sure to get the under part and then I'll just like pat it over the top. So you just want to be careful so you don't catch your eyelashes on anything. But other than that, that is it. It does take a little getting used to and you kind of adjust your mannerism and taking care of your skin, but it's not that bad. I'm already used to it and it's just become a customary thing, <laughs> which is great. So overall, I am loving my eyelash extensions. So don't be afraid. I was afraid. And I think the reason some people did end up losing a lot of eyelashes because there's mixed reviews and people say don't get it because you're gonna lose all of your lashes. But I think those people are just not careful and they're either rubbing their eyes or when they're wiping makeup off, they're like, getting it caught on something because it will get caught on a cotton or on a towel if you're not careful. So you just want to be really careful with them. I haven't had any issues and I'm very happy. Another tip is don't use mascara. I know some people are rebels and they do it, but don't use mascara on your upper lashes. I do put it on my lower lashes. And then if you do need an extra oomph, even though for me this is way oomph enough, I would recommend using magnetic eyelashes that are easy to just plop, plop on and then you can 
easily get them off or apply um, a strip lash but you want to make sure you don't attach it to the lash itself but make sure you get it on the skin above and if you need to color in the difference with an eyeliner that's fine but mascara is really hard to wash off and even when you're applying it you risk getting it really gritty and dirty and pulling some of your lashes out so i would stay away from it but you know if you're a rebel if you're a daredevil you know cheers to you for that but i pride myself in being very careful and sustaining these baby for as long as i can because you know it gets pricey i don't want to have to go and pay more and go like every two weeks when i can go every four weeks so i take care of them and they last Getting eyelash extensions is an investment. It can be pricey. It can range from $60 to $200. I paid $200 for my first set and then I'm paying $100 for my fill. So it is pricey, but I wanted to go with a reputable place. And honestly, I love how they do it. They look very natural and I can tell they are professional. So <laughs> I will keep going and getting it done there. But if you do choose to go somewhere on the cheaper side, just be cautious. I would, you know, go on Yelp, do your reviews, try to get a reference, try to see their work and don't go somewhere where they're charging you like $20 because you don't know where they're getting those eyelashes, what material they're from. And you don't know if the technicians are super, um, you know, seasoned or not. Um, I'm not hating on anybody trying to, you know, get their work out there and if it is somebody who's starting out and they're offering deals that's awesome but all i'm saying is make sure you do your research and that you go to somebody reputable that you know won't get you any infections and that will do a good job that's all so i hope that helps guys i really do that's how i take care of them and this is my eyelash extension video ta-da fresh out of the shower <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye